We do the shuttle style mediation because of the prevalence of, you know, previous domestic violence and codependency. And so we always start out going back and forth. What do you think about bringing the parents together? We try to bring the parents together, except for when I know that um, they're going to go back and forth with each other and not agree to something and start something. That's When I feel that that's going to happen, I don't bring them together. But when I think that we've moved on and they said, well, you know, it turns out usually the mother will say, well, I do want him in my child's life. You know, he, the child, our children need a father. And I said, well, that's, you know, that's great that you, you, you know that, that you see that, of course, you know, as many kids need as many people that love them in their lives. And it doesn't mean that you have to have a great relationship with him, but it is his father, his or her father. And, and it's really nice that um, you know, that they are and that you want them in their lives. And, and, and I always point out, and he says the same thing about you, you know, that you're a good mom, regardless of everything you've gone through, that you're a good mom. Um, but then if, if stuff like that happens, then we'll bring them together when it's time to read the agreement. Cause they don't really want to, at least the ones that I've mediated, they want to talk with each other about anything other than you know, can we, can, is it all right if we review the agreement with both of you together? And mm. that's when they say, okay. I would often bring the parents together because I feel like it's a very healing thing. Not always, but if once we sort of get the big pieces of the agreement in place and they're starting to feel good about themselves, and they're, you know, accomplishing what they were so sure was impossible when they first showed up to mediation. And it's looking like they're going to have an agreement. And I feel like the big stuff is agreed to. And it's really maybe a matter of working out a few holidays or a few details here and there and asking a few questions. Um, then I would ask their permission. Can I, you know, would, would you be willing to sit together in the same room with, and then I would prep them. Is, is there anything positive you can say? Can you pay them a compliment? Can you thank them for taking care of the kids when you were away? Which that's a big one. That's often is a yes. Do you have any questions for them? And they'll say no. And it's like, well, if you're co-parents, I mean, what's the bedtime? You know, do you, do you have a shared understanding of when the child supposed to go to bed, you know, so that uh, he or she can be on a regular schedule. And, you know, that that's an example of something where they often look at me like <laughs> they never thought of that. So there's always something to talk about. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have to be about them. It doesn't have to be about their relationship. And they often would and, and they would just jump in and and be quite willing to say, you know, thank you. Yeah. The other thing I would say generally about bringing parents together is a mediation that my toolbox was empty. My tools are laying all over the floor. I tried everything, everything I had, you know, bringing them together often would break that log jam. They would hash it out right in front of me and they would just come to that agreement. And it was like, what did I just spend six hours on if you guys solved this in 10 minutes? <laughs> you got them ready. There's that aspect of it, yes. Um, sometimes I wondered if I should have brought parents together sooner. Um, you don't want to blow up the mediation. That's the other thing that can happen. Yeah, it could happen. But definitely more so, I would think, online. It's just too easy to just hang up. <laughs> yes, it is. 